My name is Robin the Plant. I was born on a new moon and have always felt a deep connection to the old traditions, those that honored the cycles of the moon and the turning of the seasons. I have always been able to communicate with the spirit world. Some say it's the gift of sight and my destiny to be a messenger. I've always had respect for nature, the earth mother, and all beings. Lightning has always fascinated me with the tremendous power I feel when it comes to the earth. The elders say it's a gift that the thunder beings bring to our world. What I didn't know was how one bolt of lightning on a very special day would change my life forever. My story began before I was even born, a story that would only begin to make sense after a vivid dream would change everything in my world. Much like walking a sacred spiral, it's a story that continually unfolds always leading to wondrous new beginnings with the remembrance of the past. Shortly after the dream, I would begin to have chance encounters, one with two Mayan elders who shared with me that my life was about to change. It began with a journey to the island of Malta, one of the last strongholds of the Templar Knights. Guided by an unseen force, I would then journey to a small village in England where I would have another chance encounter with Anna Mitchell Hedges the guardian of a mysterious crystal skull. During this encounter, I was told it was my destiny to travel to Teotihuacan, in Mexico. I was to climb to the top of the Pyramid of the Sun at sunset on August 12, 1999, and to face the West. For me, those words sent a chill down my spine, and as insane as it sounded, I knew I had to do this. I heard the voices of the Mayan elders telling me that I was divinely protected and to trust whatever I was asked to do. This journey would lead to a series of predestined meetings and strange events that would change my world as I became the guardian of a black crystal skull. The black skull, carved from an ancient obsidian stone, has been used by shaman and seers to see the past and to reflect on to the future. It has an energetic field to absorb negativity and transform it into light, a powerful tool to transform judgment, hate, and fear into love. For the last 10 years, I have been guided on a journey of unbelievable power to tap into the truth of who we are and why we have come. Ebb, the Black Skull, has opened doorways and allowed me to access sites at particularly powerful times. It has also taken me to places on the planet where great atrocities have occurred to heal the land of blood spilt in violence and anger unleashed. It has taken me to some point upon the earth that has touched into every faith, religion, culture, and belief system. Ebb has taken me to places of unbelievable sadness where the earth has cried out in pain. The killing fields of Cambodia, battlefields across the earth, and even to ground zero in New York. I've been guided to travel the world always to meet a stranger that would allow me access into sacred places such as the underground crypt deep beneath the Great Pyramid in Egypt. I have crossed the roughest of seas to stand on the ice continent of Antarctica, flown a small mail plane into a blizzard to a remote village on the Arctic Circle. I've traveled to the Temple of the Four Winds, the most sacred of sites to the Maori of New Zealand, and experienced powerful ceremony with the Black Skull in the Temple of the Black Jaguar in Ekbalam on the Yucatan Peninsula. I would even cross the border from Egypt to Israel only to be accused of being a terrorist and then to retrace the footsteps of the man known as Jesus through the streets of Israel, always with the purpose to pray for peace and to create a ceremony for healing. One of the most powerful experiences in carrying the Black Skull was to lead a ceremony for peace in Petra, Jordan. When I opened my eyes, my heart was filled with light as I realized that standing next to me, I was holding the hand of a Palestinian general who was holding the hand of a Jew, who was holding the hand of a Buddhist, who was holding the hand of a Catholic. It didn't matter who was in this circle. There was no place for judgment or anger there was only focused intention for peace and a desire to experience love. When we were finished, there was not a dry eye amongst us. 
I could barely get the words out of my mouth as I was filled with such emotion, for the power of what the crystal skull held inside, the wisdom of who we truly are, had touched everyone's heart that day. I have climbed to the top of Angkor Wat, to the sacred place where heaven and earth come together for the Buddhists to pray for peace. I have carried the black skull into the sea to place on the bottom of the ocean floor to pray for healing, the abuse that man has done to the natural world, and to pray for the return of the sea turtles, only to have them begin to return hours later. I would carry Ebb to the South Island of New Zealand, and after weeks of the dolphin having disappeared, would find hundreds returning to join us after carrying Ebb into the waters. For ten years I've experienced chance meetings with holy men and women, elders and shaman from all over the world. Mysterious encounters and strange phenomena have become my never-ending story. But my story, as the guardian of the black obsidian skull named Ebb, is your story, for it is a journey to discover who we really are, where we have come from, and where we are going. It is a story of hope in a time of despair and uncertainty. It is the story that will set you free from fear about your future, a story of healing and remembering, our legacy as we move through these times of change. It is the story of oneness and unity and the awakening of our truth. It is time for you to awaken.